Okay. So I'll Host. start with, uh, with some of the things to find in um, the sample problem um, being the us the overall equation here where you just sum in that for this. Um, so what we chose or what I chose in the project like it says is price and um, and productivity uh, which brings out the point can this be anything? So I'm taking this thing at three points or at three places. One where productivity is demand because you need to make 
all of your, um, you need to make the parts to sell to people. And then some value less than this. And then this uh, productivity plus or demand plus this, and then demand plus this plus something else, which is where our differential equations come from. So, that is, we were given the first one, which is this is less than And just for an example here, I will do the equation for this being equal to d of t, which as long as this is positive, which we know it is, or as long as this is positive, which we know it is, um, this will always be less than, than this. So that gives us the equation. Understanding what this curve looks like, start going through the whole thing, time restrictions. Um, I'm going to evaluate this for the homogeneous solution, which would be um, this is. Uh, gives us the negative a t curve. And then the rest of this stuff gives us uh, plus some sine term plus some cosine term. Which looks like this. So this is inventory, talking about inventory over time. This outweighs this over time, and then it just becomes your inventory down here, and then you can't sell anything because you're restricted in sales by that. The other case is where productivity is greater than 
AFC plus where you can have the two cases that I did it at. Is where, which I will discuss what is the And then this whole thing becomes basically a, what's it called, uh, a, separable, a separable equation. So we have I equal to that stuff. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Any questions? Hmm? No questions? Okay. Okay. So I'll start with some of the things to find. So, 
first thing I did was to find demand. Um, because, well, sales. So sales, I set equal to demand times whatever people are buying and selling um, the product. So this would be some some function that is um, like the variability in where people are buying. So um, I had to define demand, which is basic um, like elasticity because it's an elastic product, um, where it starts here, goes down there, and then which is the equation of C1 plus C2. Um, this is related to price. So this would be the price. And then this is sales. Oh, no, this is demand. Sorry. Um, where this is C2, and this is C1. But in this case, C, C2 could be positive. Um, so in all cases here, C2 is negative. C2 is less than C1. Um, which that gives us the demand, uh, which is equation. Um, so now sales is some function. And this is defined as how variable the market is. So um, if people buy in the summer, um, don't buy, and then buy, and don't buy, it's sign function. And if demand is how many people are buying, this has to be centered at demand. So that gives us an equation, which is f, which is a constant of that sign net to mag t plus one times man, which gives us I'm jumping around a curve that looks like this. Right, and so this would be sine starts at zero, yep. Where this is D of T, and then this right here is F, F, and this right here is one period, which is one of the frequency. Um, so that gives us the overall equation here, where you just sum in that with this. Um, so what we chose, or what I chose in the project, like it says, is price and um, and productivity, uh, which brings out the point, can this be anything? So I'm taking this thing at three points, or at three places. One, where productivity is demand, because you need to make all of your, um, you need to make the parts to sell to people. And then some value less than this, and then this uh, productivity plot or demand plus this, and then demand plus this plus something else, which is where our differential equations come from. So that is, we were given 
first one, which is this is less than Just for an example here, I will do the equation for this being equal to d of p, which as long as this is positive, which we know it is, or as long as this is positive, which we know it is, um, this will always be less than, than this. So that gives us the equation. Understanding what this curve looks like, start going through the whole thing, the time restrictions. Um, we're, I'm going to evaluate this for the homogeneous solution, which would be um, this is. Uh, gives us C to negative A T curve. And then the rest of this stuff gives us uh, plus some sine term plus some cosine term. Which looks like this. So this is inventory talking about inventory over time. This outweighs this over time, and then it just becomes your inventory it's down here, and then you can't sell anything because you're restricted in sales by that. The other case is where productivity is greater than E of G.
plus some constant. I guess I will put it as a big B. Um, which gives us the full equation. Okay, thank you very much. <laughs> Any questions? Hmm? No questions? Okay.